All right, this is Big Dogs Porton, and today we have a muffler test. Um, we've been asked by several customers to do a muffler tests. Um, particularly, they're interested in the muffler that we sell, that we have in our stage two um, Fox Body. Um, top end and power kit. Um, it's a stainless steel muffler, straight through design. Sounds really good um, at idle and it sounds excellent on the throttle. And um, so the customer, he currently has Flowmasters. Now, a lot of the Fox Body guys, you know, the Mustang guys, they love the Flowmasters. They love the Flowmaster sound. And these particular mufflers, that we sell has a great sound also. Um, you also have the Pipes Race Pros. They have an excellent sound, um, both at idle and while up and throttle. So a lot of guys, you know, the LS guys, they pretty much know that, you know, the flow masters don't flow well. Uh, you bolt them on. They typically lose horsepower. You know, once you're over a certain amount of horsepower, um, you feel a big note, uh, a big difference when you bolt the Flowmasters on. Um, the Fox Body guys and the Mustang crowd, um, not so much. Um, they're aware of the flow losses, the horsepower losses. You know, some guys out there, they know the difference. Um, but a lot of guys, they'll pick the sound over... The horsepower and we've seen as much as you know 20 horsepower loss at the rear wheels on a high horsepower application going to the Flowmaster mufflers so everybody knows that you know CFM flow into a motor and CFM flow as far as exhaust flow out the motor equals horsepower or the potential for more horsepower. You have other factors that's involved, but that's the basics. And we all know, we all have had a plugged up catalytic converter. And you can tell when your catalytic converter is plugged up because of loss of power. It's the same principle when you have low flowing parts. When you have low flowing headers, a low flowing X pipe, or in this situation, low flowing mufflers with the flow master so we're going to do a direct comparison okay this is a controlled comparison using our equipment so you can see the difference between the mufflers that we sell and similar mufflers out there on the market versus the flow master we also have a sound clip that we we posted probably a year or two ago where we had two identical uh, pickup trucks. One had a Flowmaster on there. The other one had a straight through type of muffler. I believe it was either this one or it may have been the Pipes Race Pros, but this one sounds just like, you know, the Pipe Race um, Pros. Stainless steel version. So we're going to go ahead and pause it, set up the stainless steel version right here and see what that flows. These are both two and a half inch inlet and exit. So we're going to pause it. Okay, so we have our stainless steel muffler with our radius on there. So we're going to go ahead and start it up, see what we have. So you're looking at about six, uh, about six sixty-five, six sixty-five, yeah, six sixty-five on that one. So we're gonna do the Flowmaster next. So now we have the Flowmaster. That you know, this is the inlet with our radius, 
we get ready to kick it on. So, 367. 367. So, there you, got, there you have it. Same two and a half inch. But a huge difference in flow. And this is what you guys are giving up. You know, it's, 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 it's kind of funny to me when we talk to customers and we, we see posts on, you know, social media with various groups. And, you know, these, a lot of these guys are selling you, you know, um, custom cams. They're selling you the high dollar, high RPM intake manifold. Um, they're selling you the 11R heads. You know that's the that's the big the big rave. The 11R heads. You know and the heads flow pretty well, but they put them on these combos, and these combos make the same power that other combos with lesser parts make you would think that okay you're spending all this money you're getting these custom cams and titanium retainers and you know huge intake valves 205 208 intake valves and cylinder heads that flow 320 cfm and you know um, um, intake manifolds you're getting super victors ported you know, with the elbow, and you're putting all this stuff on, and then you go back and put these mufflers on your combo, or you'll put you'll put some BBK long tubes or BBK shorties unported on your combo, and you go out there and you run the same times and make around the same horsepower. As guys that has a lot less put into their combos, but they're just running what they have ported. You know, I see a lot of people making fun of tried and true parts like a B cam or a comp 274 HR cam or a Anderson N41 or, you know, one of our cams. And the first thing they say, oh, get a custom, get a custom, get a custom. But the guys with the customs are not making any more power and not going any faster than the guys with the off the shelf cams. You know, these guys is running these System X tools and the Edelbrock RPM tools and the Box R, you know, the Trick Flow Box R's. They're not running any faster. Then, you know, a lot of our customers that are running regular, you know, stage two and stage three ported Explorer, Cobra, and Tubular GT40s. I can understand if there was a huge difference, but the only huge difference that I see is a huge difference in price. You know, these guys, they sell you these parts, and I'm not saying, you know, these aftermarket parts don't have their place. If you're putting down, you know, a thousand horsepower to the wheels in a high boost application, 1200 horsepower to the wheels on a, a large cubic inch stroker motor, then of course you're going to need something with a lot of cross section area. And even then, you know, you can do a lot if you are a good porter and a good TIG welder. And, you know, here at Big Dogs, you know, we have both so we can do a lot you know we can alter manifolds to have a larger cross-section area throughout the runners to have more flow and we can also do the cosmetics to make it appear to be a stock manifold we can do that with the gt40s we can do that with a system max we can do that with you know, the box R, we can do it with our long runner R, whatever manifold you give us, we can make it work because we can TIG well, we can add material, we can fabricate, 
You know, we're not afraid to cut up a manifold and rebuild it to make it work. That's something that we specialize in. Something that a lot of porters, they just can't do. You know, you have porters that has been porting for decades and they're still putting epoxy in holes that they break through on the manifolds and trying to convince everybody out there that it's okay. That's not okay. Stop doing that. Stop telling these people that because they trust your your opinion because they they trust you. You guys, you guys have been in the industry for a long time and you need to do a better job with being honest with your customers. You know, stop telling these customers to do things that it's not safe for their motors. Put an epoxy inside of a runner. It's not going to hold up over time. You may get a summer out of it. But it's not going to hold up over time. That's aluminum and epoxy. You got heat, different heat cycles, different heat expansion rates. You know, you have oils and fuels, vibration. Eventually, it's going to come loose. You're going to have leaks or get sucked into the engine and cause catastrophic failure. So stop telling these guys to do that and go out there and get you a nice TIG welder and learn how to TIG or send it off. To get them tea. We do all that in house. So, as you see, the flow master is not a master of flow. <laughs> and this is what you guys are putting on your vehicles. You know, you 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 putting you're worrying about headers and going with three inch exhaust pipes and and. 11R heads and 90 millimeter throttle bodies and box R's and you're putting these mufflers on and it's choking it all off. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of guys are running and making the same horsepower because it doesn't make a difference what kind of parts you put on upstream. If you put mufflers like this on it, it's going to choke it off. So you can check this video out and many others on our Facebook business page at Big Dogs Porting or here on our YouTube channel. See you guys at the track.